reviews, unboxings, tech and forward news, all here at Oi Walker, so sit back, relax and enjoy. The iPhone 4 has just been announced um, at the WWDC by Steve Jobs. Oh, this is what it looks like. This is the design of the new iPhone 4. As you can see, it comes in black and white, which is uh, what it normally comes in. But this time, the white covers the whole of the front screen. As you can see, these are the two phones um, compared side by side. There's like um, it's designed differently now. It's no longer rounded at the back. Everything is squared off and flat. And it's a lot thinner than the previous iPhone. As you, this is the bottom bit here. You can see um, it has a 30 pin proprietary connector. That hasn't changed. It has a speakers here along with a microphone and obviously the home button. At the side you have the volumes um, controls. You have up and down. At the top you have the lock button to lock and op unlock the screen. You have another microphone uh, along with a 3.5mm jack. These are just some of the pictures. And at the back it has a uh, previously had a 3.2, now they've upgraded it to 5 megapixels and added a LED flash. In addition to this they've added HD um, video recording 720p so you'll be able to get HD recording straight from the iPhone which is good. You can see this is just the design of it and how it looks. Just to give you an idea. Uh, okay, now we're gonna take a look at prices. The previous iPhone 3GS was the in the US it dropped to 99 dollars, and in the UK hopefully the price will drop as well. And they're only selling the 8 gigabyte model, and the 3G has been discontinued as well. Um, in the UK, in the UK, um, O2 Orange and Vodafone has, has confirmed that they'll be getting it on the 24th of June, which is um, in a couple of days' time by the end of the month. If you're living in the US and you're an AT&T, you can get um, upgrade up to six months early if your contract ends within 2010. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the some more pictures of the iPhone. This is the white one. Just so you can see the design of it. And also, as you can see, this one has a forward-facing camera. It has a VGA camera at the front here. Um, that's a nice little addition they added as well. When they really tried to sell the front-facing camera. It's, good. it's got some more screenshots of it as well. There it is compared next to the iPhone 3G. Yes. Now we're going to take a look at the black color. And you can see it's very, it's obviously exactly the same, but it's just in black and it looks. Um, I actually prefer the white one, but the black still looks nice as well. Now we're going to run down some specifications. Obviously, it's available in 16 and 32 gigabyte, and you do have a micro SD card you can put in there. Um, 720p with um, HD recording, 5 megapixels stills. You still get the LED flash, and the screen um, is a 3.5 inch capacitive touch screen, which also still has multi touch. The pixels is 960 by 640. It has a contrast ratio of 800 to 1 um, and it's got um, Wi-Fi B, G and N which is a new addition and it has Bluetooth 2.1 and it's obviously got GPS, digital compass, Wi-Fi um, the, it's got a higher capacity battery it can take up to 7 hours on 3G um, 6 hours using 3G, 10 hours on Wi-Fi and 10 hours um, of video playback and up to 40 hours of music playback. Um, in addition, um, Apple have made their own cases that go on the outer 
um, edge of the phone you can get it in a variety of colors to suit your needs so you can keep changing up on a daily to, um, on a daily basis and yeah it gives it also gives the phone a different look like in the white in the white iPhone you could just change it up and it gives it a different look it makes it look much nicer with the those cases on and that's it don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my youtube videos thanks for watching